Many of us take a solid internet connection for granted at home, at work, surfing the web on the go, but there's recent data from the FCC that finds that more than 8 million American homes and businesses nationwide do not have access to high-speed broadband internet service. Weijia Zhang shows us how many Americans are struggling to get online and what the government is now doing to bridge that digital divide. This may be the, the best that it gets. When Amanda Moore can't get on the web. It's not responding. She doesn't just reset her router or modem like many of us would. Moore takes her laptop for a ride up the hill behind her house on the hunt for a hot spot. It's kind of like you share your favorite place to shop. We share our favorite places to get signal. Moore lives in Clay County, West Virginia, a state where the FCC estimates about a third of homes and businesses do not have high-speed broadband access. While she now often works from home for the United Way, Moore was a professional photographer for 20 years. Not having the bandwidth to upload files turned out to be much more than an inconvenience. It sounds like it altered your career path. It did. It absolutely altered my career path. I didn't have the time to wait for the infrastructure to catch up to, you know, the business that we wanted to have, so I just had to let it go. Broadband isn't a luxury anymore. It's a necessity. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo is leading the Biden administration's $65 billion broadband push as part of the bipartisan infrastructure law signed in 2021. Bravo. Working to make it universally available in about five years. Ramondo's broader mission is maintaining America's competitiveness with China. She says internet access is critical. It's really essential um, to our competition. So are we at a disadvantage right now? Tapping into everyone in America, boys, girls, people of color, people living in rural America, will make us stronger. And if those are the people who don't have the internet, we're losing out on their talent. Talent, like 15-year-old Jaylee Persinger. I really like this one. I like that one pretty. too. Who does not have broadband at her house in Heiko, West Virginia. How does the lack of fast service impact your schoolwork at home? Well, it, make, it makes it very hard. It takes me about like a minute to five minutes to like reconnect. And by that time, with my ADHD, I'm like, okay, is this even like worth doing? Did you hear on time today? Yeah. a boy. Jaylee's principal, Richard Pettit, says some students can't connect to the internet at all. We have a lot of kids that live up um, in the back hollers of, of the area that just doesn't have the option or they can't afford it at home. If we don't do something to address the gap, we can only determine that we're going to leave people behind. West Virginia, along with every other state, will receive federal funding to expand broadband access. Exactly how the billions of dollars are divvied up will be announced by the end of this month based on the newly released FCC coverage map. But even with the influx of cash, it may still be a long road. The biggest challenge is topography. So you think about some places out in the West or, or anywhere really with mountain ranges, with difficult physical circumstances, but we will get it done. For Amanda Moore, it can't get done soon enough. Would broadband access make your life better? Broadband access would make me probably sing and dance and <laughs> Yeah, it would make my life easier. It would make everybody's life a lot easier. The federal government is not just trying to expand broadband access. It's also trying to lower the cost. The Affordable Connectivity Program offers subsidies to those who qualify to purchase a computer and pay monthly Internet bills. More than 18 and a half million U.S. households have already enrolled. And full disclosure, my parents in rural West Virginia, where I grew up, are among those who do not have access to broadband. So I have seen firsthand how it can make people feel like they are stuck in time. And double full disclosure, it includes my mom's house, where she's lived for 25 years in West Virginia <laughs> and doesn't have internet to download pictures of grandkids. Yeah. Weisha, thank you very much. It's an issue that really matters.